The man of the hour. But you're the hottest scoop this year. Got a few moments for an exclusive. I'm rich. I got a lot of prep for the playoffs. <sighs> I'll tell you what. If you give me the exclusive, I'll put together your senior highlight reel for recruiting next year. Wow, you'd really do that? Heck yeah. I, mean, I got a lot of tricks to get a lot of eyes on your tape, too. Yeah, I do that for all the guys that are pretty nice to me, which is the kicker and now you. Sold. I need as much help as I can get with recruiting. All right. Let's get started. Wow, great. Okay. Um, let me think. Oh, regarding your last game, what would you say is your biggest strength? My biggest strength? Uh... Just think of one of them, any. I felt like I was able to sense the pressure and then get out of the pocket and get it to our backs before the pocket collapsed. All right, well, if you're not going to play me, I quit. Well, Reg, I guess there's the exclusive. Need a word from my office. stream from FedEx Field, the home of the Virginia High School Football State Championship and the host of tonight's clash between the Brush Hogs and the Spartans. Joining you on this beautiful evening, I'm Kevin Connors. Well, the anticipation is over. A year's worth of blood, sweat, and tears has come down to this. Game time in the state championship. Caught in the end zone. And he was hoping for more as he gets taken down after an average return. First snap on the slant against the Maddox. And that's complete. Good for the first inside the 10 yard line. Sammy Hawk to throw on second down. Here's QB2, and that's nearly picked off. But the drive will continue. Following the near turnover. Going with the run. He will not be denied. Touchdown, Spartans. Sammy Hawk. His way into the end zone. And that'll make our score 7 0. After giving up the touchdown, the Brush Hogs are back to receive. Fielded in the end zone. Geez, all that effort 
and not much to show for it. He'll start this drive just beyond the 20. Quarterback Gavin Dixon and this Brush Hogs offense take the field for the first time in this title game. Looking to pass on first down. A quick hitter for the completion. Now he's taken down. The connection on that play, good for seven yards. Now it's second down. Getting ready for the shotgun snap. Here's Dixon. Rainey gets the handoff. And he's tackled at the 31-yard line. Well, for the Brush Hogs, this game marks a return to the state championship. It's, it's a chance for redemption after losing a blowout just one year ago in this very same stadium. The history they bring to this matchup adds a whole new dimension to this showdown. Now he's dropped after getting past the marker. After a solid pickup on that previous play, it's first and ten. Shotgun snap. Here's Dixon. He finds his man on the in route. And the play call there successful as they get it across for the first. So earlier today, while speaking with Brush Hogs coach George Thompson, I asked if their loss in the title game last year came up at all in their preparations this week. You know what he said? He said they took the game film and they buried it. He insisted they've put it behind them and that they are ready to raise the trophy. All right, so following the short gain, here's second and eight. Now they'll throw from the gun, and it's incomplete. So we're looking at third down. As anyone knows, high schoolers and social media... It can be a recipe for drama. And Clay Rainey stirred up some controversy this week when he predicted a championship win for his Brush Hogs. You can imagine how well that went over with QB2 and his squad. Spoiler alert, not well. And meanwhile, that pass play pushes them deeper into enemy territory. But Brush Hogs lined up, ready to punt it away. Oh, some trickeration. And now he's taken down. They took a chance, and it paid off big time with a new series. On first down, back to pass. Over the middle, caught by Poole. And he's taken down at the 26. Tyrus Poole, arguably the fastest player on the field here today, maybe even the fastest in the state. He started returning kicks with the Brush Hogs when he broke his school's record for the 40-yard dash. He ran it in just over 4.4 seconds. Uh, yeah, lightning fast. On first down, they go back to Rainey. He's past the 20 to the 17. So time expires on the first quarter of play. Three more to go in this state championship showdown. Back in a moment. We've got a scoring threat in the red zone as we start this second quarter. From the gun, inside handoff. Now he's taken down after picking up the first. QB2. Maddox is wide open. 
a 24-yard gain, and a first down, and much, much more. Getting ready for the shotgun snap, here's QB2. On first down, he'll drop back. Deep throw for Fuller. He caught it. Oh, it's a touchdown. Benny Fuller. <laughs> Throwing to start the drive. Here's QB2. Chucks this downfield, but they can't make the connection. Attack the secondary to start the series, but they couldn't make the connection. Still 10 yards to go after that incompletion on first. Again, they'll pass it. And he's not able to come down with it. Third down on the way. We talked about Tyrus Poole earlier. A lot of schools were on this kid hoping he'd actually go the track route. But he's fallen in love with football, and of course there's the appeal of the NFL too, but I just think he loves the game, loves the coaching. And his mind is made up. So following a drive that came and went, here's the punt after a three and out. Sends it flying. And he's taken down at the 33. Play action. QB2 to throw. Going for a big play downfield. So that falls incomplete, but there is a flag down. Let's Defense listen in. Defense. What did I think then? So there's the decision, and the penalty accepted as these teams line up for the next play. So the Spartans are lined up now, and it's a tie ball game as they settle in for this play. And he's down to the 22. Okay, so you're hitting me up on social media wanting to know exactly what Clay Rady posted, and it was an invitation to his championship party tomorrow evening. Yes, very bold, and you know what? He was pretty quick to delete it, too. All right, here we go. It's first and goal. Surveys the field. Oh, man, I think the quarterback's been playing too much Madden. What was he thinking on that throw? But the drive stays alive. You know, I wouldn't be surprised to see something a little more conservative here on second and goal. QB2 gives it to Hawk. He'll push it even closer to about the two-yard line. QB2 calls out the play as he hurries his guys to the... And he goes straight out of touchdown! Sammy Hawk! His second rushing touchdown of the game. <laughs> Throwing to start the drive. Here's QB2. Going long distance. And it's complete. And that's a huge game that puts them on the opposite side of the field. A 32-yard gain. And they're already beyond midfield. Lined up in the shotgun. Back to pass on first down. He'll go deep for the end zone. And that is caught. Touchdown, Spartans. Just two plays needed to find the end zone. quarters of action it's the spartans out in front and when we return the second half of this championship showdown 
Throwing to start the drive. Here's QB2. And that's nearly picked off. Oh, they really needed that turnover. So the comments keep coming in now on my channel. And yes, I did see Sammy Hawk's reaction to the Clay Rainey party invite. For those who haven't, here's what Hawk said. You can delete the post, but screenshots live forever. Well, there you have it. Everyone from Playmaker politicians take heed the new era of bulletin board material is here QB2 settles into this shotgun look on first down back to pass down the middle of the field it's complete a 27 yard gain and a big time play Fake to Hawk, QB2 to throw. He'll take a shot at the end zone. It's intercepted at the goal line. Picked off by Gales. <laughs> Trying to get something going on the ground. And he'll scoot his way forward for a solid game. When you look around the stadium, clearly a state championship of this caliber will draw thousands upon thousands of fans. And there's more than a few NFL players among them. Before the game, I saw guys like Patrick Peterson and the Honey Badger, Tyron Matthew, signing a bunch of autographs. Looking to pass on first down. Goes deep with this throw. There's a fight for the football. And it's intercepted. Kicked off by Singletary. players in attendance here today. Earl Thomas and Jarvis Landry happen to be watching from the sidelines tonight. And get this, Adrian Peterson showed up at Coach Fintu's request and surprised his players with a pregame speech. Can you imagine that? Moving right along on this drive, here's first and ten. Shotgun snap, here's QB2. Looking deep for Patton. He's got it! Touchdown, Spartans! And what a moment for QB2. He was a backup on homecoming weekend. Now he's on the verge of becoming a state champion. for the well-researched game notes he gave me earlier. Reggie writes for the school newspaper that's covered QB2 since he joined the team, and I gotta tell you, that little spark he has really earned my respect. Might be after my job one day. Third down from the gun. Down the middle of the field, it's complete. A 20-yard gain, and that's a first down and then some. up in the backfield on first down he'll drop back called in by Maddox 
And he's got the first down. So I mentioned the game notes Reggie gave me earlier, and here's an interesting fact. Rush Hogs head coach George Thompson once played Coach Fetu in a football game back in college. Now, it wasn't for a championship, but Coach Fetu's Trojans won that non-conference showdown. Amazing how we've come full circle here today. And this will be spotted at the 48. All right, so following the short gain, here's second down. The Spartans will run it. And they're not able to stop him before he comes up with the first down. While doing some prep for this game, I got a recommendation to check out RecruitsToWatch.com. And let me tell you, QB2 is well represented with some jaw-dropping highlights. And you got to remember, until earlier this season, he hadn't played a down of football since Pop Warner. Think about that kind of meteoric rise. It's been methodical. It's been textbook. It's been the kind of drive you dream about. First down after first down. And he'll make his way to the 20-yard line. Working now from within the red zone. Here's second down. Changing things up. Looking to pass now. It's caught at the line. And he's got the first down just outside the end zone. From the four-yard line, it's first and goal. They'll go with the run. And he won't get much on first down. Jerron Elias there to stop him. Chipping away at the defense. It's second and goal from the one. He'll try again with Hawk. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Spartans. Timeout called by the Brush Hogs. They've got none remaining. We approach the closing moments of this title game. One last thing on recruits to watch. You can go to the archive and watch videos they have on players that are now in the NFL. I highly recommend you search for DeAndre Hopkins and Le'Veon Bell's highlights. I mean, it's like watching someone play Madden. You know, Madden, the video game. Madden. Now QB2 goes down to one knee, and that'll do it. This baby is over. The event staff emerge from the tunnel with the championship trophy. The blood, sweat, and tears, it all came down to this. On behalf of everyone at EA Sports, this is Kevin Connors.